everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Uh, I'm starting a new series of videos, and I want to look at Topaz Studios, brand new Topaz Studio 2, and I wanted to go over each and every adjustment and filter inside of Topaz Studio 2. So we're just going to take them right on down the list, starting with the first filter and moving down. And eventually we'll cover them all. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is come out of Lightroom here. And right now, I've, as you can see here, I've made a few preliminary adjustments on this image. Let's look at the detail here. I have the sharpening at my default setting of 25. I have no noise reduction. And color noise I have at 25%. That's kind of my default setting where I leave the details and things. Because the first thing I'm going to do when I go into Topaz Studio is use the AI Clear Filter. And that's the first filter we're going to look at. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to right-click my image with my mouse. I'm going to go to Edit In and find Topaz Studio. Give that a click and that'll take us in. Now my settings are TIFF. This is my uh, typical settings. I go in as a TIFF file. Pro Photo Color Space, which is the lar largest color space. Bit Depth of 16 bits. I want the highest resolution I can get. And I use resolution of 360 because I have an Epson printer and that works well with an Epson printer. A lot of times you'll have it set at 300 for different printers and things. But 360 for Epson printers, by the way. So I'm going to click on Edit and that'll take us into uh, Topaz Studio 2. We have this really cool little parrot here that I think it's a parrot, is it? I'm not sure, but I think it is. Starts us off. Okay, so here, here we go. Here's our image. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the filter. So if I click Add Filter, you see all the different filters in here. And there's a bunch of them in here. I haven't really counted them, but there's a lot. And then we have looks. We're going to go into looks at a different time. But first off, we're going to start with every filter. Let's start off with AI Clear. I love this filter right here. It's a noise reduction and sharpening filter. So I'm going to click AI Clear. And you'll see this little blue line going across the top. That's how quick it processes the image. Now, let me zoom into the image here. And, okay. Now, we can see a before and after different ways. We can click, see up here where it says original. We can give that a click and we can see the original. And it says original here. Click it again. We see the processed image. And then we have view. We can click on view. And we have different ways we can view. Uh, the one I like here is the split horizontal excuse me split horizontal view and then you can take this line here and we can drag it to the right to the left and you can see see on this side is the processed uh, image and on the left is the unprocessed so you can see but look at that noise look how that noise has gone away this filter is incredible guys I typically like to set the view to single view and what I like to do is just click see the little hand tool you get here just give that a click and you'll see the before and after that's what I like to do right there so let's take a look at this filter. So it starts off in an auto setting, does everything for you. And a lot of times that's really all you need. But you can go through the different settings. We can remove remove noise. We got low. We give it a second. It'll render out here. You can see the low setting. You can see a little bit more noise in here as I zoom in. But there's low. Medium. Okay. And we can see the noise is reduced there. Or you can go to high. And so you have a lot of choice here, guys. But just... Push these buttons, low, medium, or high, whichever you want. I typically just hit the auto, and generally, guys, that works for me. It's it's pretty simple and easy to do. And then uh, enhance sharpness. It defaults at low, or you can click on high. Excuse me, high. Give it a second to render out here. Gets slightly sharper. It's not over the top, but I generally just leave it on low. And then you have this recover detail slider. It's defaulted at a .10. Now, if you move the slider to the left, you are basically recovering no details whatsoever. Uh, the default setting, and to get back to the default setting of point 0.1, just double click where it says recover details. That's generally where I keep it, guys. I don't really mess with it. But let's zoom into this noise right here. Now, watch when I take this recover detail slider and move it to the left. Okay. And now I'm going to move it to the right. You can see the noise is starting to come back in right because I'm recovering details back into the image. Again, guys, I generally leave it right on the default. Again, let's click on the screen with my mouse before and after. But look at that noise reduction. I love it. Okay. If I wanted full, you know, full tilt noise reduction, I could just move this recovery detail to the left. But again, I leave it at 0.10. And uh, we can go back to the uh, fit size of the image by coming up here and clicking fit. 
Or look, you can come here and hit 100% and zoom into 100%. Let's go back to fit. Or you got the slider bar here and you can zoom it into wherever you would like it to be. But I typically use fit and zoom to 100%. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back to fit and I'm going to click accept, guys. But before I do, there's a couple other uh, sliders I forgot to show you. Uh, this is nice. They've added an exposure slider here. So you can give your, if you want your image to have a little extra exposure, you can bump it up here. And they also give you a clarity slider. Now, to get this exposure slider back, just double click on exposure and it goes back to zero. I generally don't use the clarity slider here. And I'm going to bump the clarity slider up. It works just like any old clarity slider will work. And Topaz really have these kind of things down to a science but you can add clarity here I typically don't I would add clarity probably by masking masking that clarity adjustment in with a different filter but it's here if you want to bump up clarity a little bit so let's double click clarity get it back say for instance I might just want to just bump it up to like under 10 under point one or somewhere in there but typically I'm not even going to touch that guys and now when I'm done all I need to do is come and hit accept but before I do that, I just want to show you, you have a histogram down here. You can see the histogram of your image. And you have a navigator here. So if you're zoomed in, you can navigate around. We'll get into that later. But for now, I just want you to be aware that you have these things down here. And then when you're ready to go back into Lightroom, just click Accept. And we're going to go right back into Lightroom process. Now, let's, uh, let me zoom into 100% here on this image. Okay. There it is, and there's the original. Why aren't I seeing a difference here? Whoops, I see why. See this right here, guys? And you'll get this from time to time. See this little arrow here with these lines? Give that a click and, and click on Import Settings from Disk. And when you do, that clears that up. I don't know if that's a bug in Lightroom, but I'm glad it did it for me because that will probably happen to you at some point. So there is my... Topaz edited image. Here is, let me click on the image to the right of it. That is the untopaz edited image. And you can see the noise here. And also look at the sharpness and details that have popped in here when I click on the topaz edited image. Whoops, right there. As you can see, there's a lot more sharpness here. Now, this particular image, guys, was, was shot with a, um, I can't remember, what was it shot with? It was shot with my, oh, it was shot on my Canon 40D and it was shot with a 60 millimeter, um, oh, what do I want to say, 60 millimeter macro lens. Gosh, I was having a brain fart there. Okay, so anyway, so it was a macro lens, okay. So, and, um... So it had a, what was my depth of field here shot at? Uh, let's see. F5.6. So pretty shallow depth of field. So we don't have a whole lot in focus here. But when I'm shooting flower images, I like a shallow depth of field. I'm only pointing certain parts of this image to be in focus. And I do that for artistic effects. But anyway, there it is, guys. I hope you like this one. This was the start of my uh, Topaz Studio 2 video, starting out with AI Clear. AI Clear is a super duper filter and I love it. It far su succeeds, I would say, anything I've ever used in noise reduction. It is really, really good. Apart from the another filter, which I'll go into in another video, it's a standalone uh, piece of software by um, Topaz and it is um, Denoise AI. That's a little better than this, but this one is really good and it's right inside of Studio. All right, guys, so there you go. Thanks for uh, joining me today at The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you'll be informed of all the new training videos that are coming out with. All right, I'll see you guys next time.